This video you are watching is actually a PowerPoint presentation made entirely with Microsoft Copilot. Hello and welcome. I am Parthavatacharya, ad designer in both Canva and PowerPoint at Vilvasar. I don't generally make presentations, but I made this because of a request by a viewer. If you are new to creating presentations with Copilot, then this video is for you. Copilot is an AI-powered assistant for Microsoft 365, and it can generate a complete PowerPoint presentation for you, depending on your input. One of them is what is called a prompt. So let's dive in. When you open PowerPoint and click on this small icon for Copilot, you come up with four options. The top two are about creating presentations. And even though PowerPoint gives you the option to create from a file, this is not easy. That's because as of this time, you can only access or extract information from documents that are already there in your OneDrive storage. So let me focus on the first option, which is simply providing text prompts. Before trying this, let me tell you two things. One, you can start with one of the templates that PowerPoint provides before the prompt. Or you can start on a blank slide, which is what I want. So let me click on the first option. And this Copilot dialog box pops up. So let me go ahead and paste my lengthy text prompt here in this box. Here it is. I want a presentation about five tips on how traveling can mitigate loneliness for old people. Each slide will have a brief heading for the tip, not exceeding five words, along with short description of that tip in maximum two to three small sentences. Okay, let me click on this arrow to get Copilot to work. After a brief while, Copilot gives me an outline of slides it considers fit for my presentation. You can of course delete any of these sections right here or move a section up or down. Let me proceed and click on this button, Generate Slides. Copilot will take longer time now, which is understandable because it's passing through different phases of creating the entire presentation. I have shortened the duration of this process so the wait isn't long. Finally, here is the presentation that Copilot provides. Do I want to keep it? Yes, I do. And now I switch to the normal view. Right. The slides are arranged in such a way that you can start a live presentation right now. In fact, Copilot also arms the slides with transitions and animations. But I'm not going into them now. By the way, if you'll notice, Copilot doesn't obey many of my instructions. For example, it gives stock images for illustration, not clip arts. Okay, for the sake of simplicity for this video, I'll cut short the number of slides. Out of a total of 13 slides, I'll delete the slides 2, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 30. So now there are 6 slides left. Let me do some design modifications. First, from the design menu, let me go over to this template. The slides turn black as the dominant background, but the texts become white. In the next step, let me select and change the fonts. I like this combination of Unica 1 and Poppins. So let me click on this. Both are available on Google and you can download them on your computer. Copilot has rendered all the headings in uppercase and bold. So what I'm going to do now is change the headings to lowercase and normal. 
this I'm doing for all the six slides. Let's now look at some localized options that Copilot provides. So for the main heading, I click on Condens. And this is what Copilot changes. Can I condense further? Yes, a little bit. In a separate example, I have seen Copilot magically condensing texts, something that don't usually come to mind. What about auto rewrite? No, this is too big for the heading. So no option but to condense again. Copilot may not condense all the time. For this description, when I want condense, see, it actually does just the opposite. Okay, let me now work on images. And let's see if and how I can change them if I want. So on this line, let's say I want to change this image. And let me do this without Copilot. I right click on it and from the menu that comes, I go to change picture and then let me choose stock images. PowerPoint immediately opens the dialog box and in here there is a huge range of media stocks. I'll search for old people and from these 26 some images that PowerPoint gives me, I'll select this one and then click on insert. Here, as you can see, the image is changed. However, this is not by Copilot. But can Copilot create images for you? I think yes. This time, clicking the icon, I will choose Ask Copilot. A side pane opens on the right with four options. I want to create an image, so let me click here. And in this input box, I have to write, guess what, a prompt. So my prompt is to generate an image of an old couple, hand in hand, looking at the setting sun on a beach and the view taken from behind them. Right? What Copilot is doing here is transferring the execution to Microsoft Designer. It uses Dell E3 Image Generator developed by OpenAI. It usually gives you a set of four outputs for every command. So here too, we are gonna get four images. Finally, here they are. Cool. All are different and I can select any one from here. Let me select this one and click Insert. This seems very close to being a real photo. I can save it to my computer and use it as I just explained a while back. For now, let me delete this and close the Copilot side pane. So you have some fair bare minimum idea about how Copilot can help you in creating presentations. What I just did is make some changes like adding serial numbers to the tips on five slides. And I've also modified the animations on each slide. Let's find out how the presentation has come. It's okay if you ask me. Perhaps you will not use so much animations because the idea for a presentation is to explain the things to your audience rather than having things moving around. I'll show you another presentation based on the same prompt. Here it is. I haven't changed anything in the overall design except for the fonts for the headings. Just wanted to see how trade gothic looks like in the slides, in the font. Here is the presentation. The animations you see came as they are by Copilot. So there you are. I do hope you get some idea about using Copilot for your presentation. However, here is a small point I want to share with you. 
Copilot will not solve your presentation dilemma with random props, no matter what others say. It can help if you have your own document in one drive, like a PDF or a Word file, because then Copilot can extract information from it to create the slides. That's my assessment. Okay, for now, that's all I have for you. Subscribe to my channel and do support me by checking out my bundle offers in the description below. That will be a big help. Thanks for your time.